ladies and gentlemen. The story you're about to see is true. If we don't pass it, here's the guarantee that the people who are watching tonight, your premiums will go up, your employers are going to load up more costs on you, potentially they're going to drop your coverage because they just can't afford an increase of 25, 30 percent in terms of the cost of providing health care to employees each and every year. And the federal government will go bankrupt. You really believe that, don't you? You know, you're really an enigma to me. You appear to be a moderately well-educated man. You use that highly trained intellect, not the way those who taught you intended that you should, but you utilize it much the same as a highly sophisticated weapon, don't you? You've had the finest university teachings in the world, and having once been gifted with all that, how do you put it to use? For the common detriment of a man, for the ultimate and positive disintegration of the society that made that learning possible for you. And the pity of it is you're believed in, particularly by the young. With the power of that highly refined intelligence, you can move mountains. What about my freedoms, my rights, my family's way of living? You don't concern yourselves with that, do you? People don't want your warped and distorted sensibilities to interfere with their way of life. You're full of enthusiasm and ideas, and you're boiling over with energy. You want to change things. So you look around, you see a lot of things that need changing. People kill each other, and they shouldn't. People are hungry, and they shouldn't be. People are cold and they're illiterate. They need shelter. They need books. The world needs changing. Well, it does need changing, but if you're going to live with the rest of us, then you'll have to learn to play the game by the rules. And in case you've forgotten the name of the game, we call it democracy.